Hi, welcome to multi class classification using support vector machine. Here, uh, initially, the multi class classification problem will be uh, breaking into smaller sub problems. Then, the sub problems will appear as a binary class classification problem. Then, we can go with uh, binary classification principle for classifying this smaller sub problems. So, finally, we will take majority vo voting or highest value that is farthest into the positive region of sub problems. Majority voting of sub problems will be considered as a predicted output. Here we are having two approaches one is one versus one approach, and another one is one versus rest approach. In the one versus one approach, we will use majority voting of the uh, sub problem classifiers to predict the output. So, in the uh, Python, we will use uh, SVM uh, package. From there, we are ca calling the SVC classifier. Here, the decision function shape should uh, denote as a one versus one. Here, the, uh, we are having one limitation. We should train too many classifiers for one versus one approach. For example, consider this data set which is having the three class data points uh, red, green, blue. Here in the one versus one approach it will uh, calculate the hyperplane that separating the only two classes. Only two classes. But remaining classes will be neglected. For example, in the red and blue so this red and blue this line is only considering red color data points and blue color data points red color data points and blue color data points so this is the hyperplane which is separating the uh, red color class and blue color class data points remaining that green color data points are not at all considered not at all considered you look at that hyperplane is on the green color data points because it is neglecting the green color data points so this hyperplane only considering the red color data points and blue color data points so it is one of the small problem or sub problem then next hyperplane this one is considering only uh, the green color data points so this sub problem considers only red color data points and green color data points this hyperplane okay so it is not considering the blue color data points likewise when you are taking the uh, sub problem 3 here the sub problem 3 is just we are considering the uh, green color data points and blue color data points it is not at all considering the red color data points you look at that this hyperplane is on the red color data point so that means it is not at all considering the red color data points so here this sub problem considering green color and blue color so here uh, this is one classifier this is second classifier this one is third classifier so three classifiers we are using here three classifiers we are using here for each class for each class for, for each class right we will use one uh, for each two classes for every two classes we will use one separate classifier so that is the limitation of ovo then next one is ovr approach here the decision function shape should be represented as ovr here you see uh, what will be happen it is also having the n number of sub problems in that n number of sub problems it is using the uh, here the it will take uh, one data set okay for example if you take the green color data set that green color data set is classified by this hyperplane uh, the green color data set will be class 1 and entire data set will be assumed as a class 2 class 2 so whatever number of data data set available in the uh, another case that entire data set will be assigned as a single class right so that is the thing 
and uh, when you are taking the another case suppose if is the red color uh, class when we are classifying only this red color data point will be assumed as a one class then remaining this blue color and entire green color data set all together will be assumed as a one class so uh, the red color hyperplane assumes this is one class right class number two so this is class number one right right like that when you are assuming the blue color uh, hyperplane the blue color hyperplane only uh, considers blue color data points one class and the remaining all data points will be in another class so this is about the one versus rest one class versus remaining all rest rest of all the data points that is the meaning one versus rest means one class will be considered at a time rest of all data will be considered as another class that is called one versus rest so here we will use minimum number of uh, classifiers than one versus one classifiers one versus one classifiers but there is one limitation it needs high computation because of uh, uh, if, when we are having more number of training data points and another one is that uh, given data set becomes unbalanced you look at here when you are taking the hyperplane green it will consider only this will one class for example it may be a 250 data points then remaining data points all will be considered as a negative class because this is green color so it will be considered as a positive this will be rest all the data points will be considered as a negative class so you look at that if each data set is having uh, 250 data points then each each class each class is having 250 data points now negative class is having 500 samples but positive class is having only 250 samples so uh, here 500 data points available in the negative in the positive 250 so it is unbalanced likewise when you are considering the uh, another class so 250 in the red color remaining all this all 250 plus 250 will become negative so this 250 will be positive this 500 will become negative so there also uh, we are getting unbalanced data set this becomes headache in the one versus rest classifier right for that what to do so for addressing the unbalanced problem we can collect some representatives that is subsamples from the class that contains more training samples that means we can collect only uh, less number of samples which are belongs to majority of the class for that we can use the three sigma rule of the normal distribution so we can fit the data into the normal distribution uh, then it can be subsampled accordingly so that the distribution of the data can be well maintained so from the distribution we can select random data points which are from the majority class so for that we can apply smart subsampling there is a different subsampling approaches we can use the smart subsampling so in the one versus rest which is uh, calculating the hyperplane to each class separately you look at that three classifiers we are uh, having so each class we are uh, needed one uh, class subclassifier or uh, weak i mean uh, classifier smaller data set we are having class sub, uh, classifiers then uh, here uh, the difference between the one versus one and one versus rest is the one versus rest needs n number of classifiers but in one versus one we need n into n minus one divided by two classifiers for example when you are having the data set four classes with the four classes red green blue orange then you see we need only four classifiers we need only four classifiers in the one versus rest because for example if i am having like this so here i am having one class here then one class here then one class here then one class here right so four types of classes now what i will do in the one versus rest one versus rest only one class will be considered at a time remaining all will be another class okay so now classifier one 
classified the into mark then classifier 2 then classifier 2 will be classifying this data so now classifier 2 classifier 1 already done into mark classifier 2 now done for uh, circle right then classifier 3 we can use for classifying another data points so for another data points for example it will use this one is the 3 so this one so this one is is used 3 then another classifier we will use here another uh, smaller problem classifier we will use here like this so minus is classified as a fourth classifier so four classifiers we used uh, for this data set when we are using the same by using the one versus one one versus one then at that time there is the possibility of getting more number of classifiers for example first we will use uh, red comma blue red comma blue so here we will use this is red this is uh, blue right then we will use uh, this one is green this one is orange right so now we will take the red comma blue only it will consider two classes remaining it will ignore that so red comma blue simply it will use this one so red comma blue is now separated so one classifier for red comma blue then another classifier we should use for another one another two classes another two classes that another two classes we will use red comma green so red comma green so here it will use this one red comma green so now this is another one red comma green like that red comma orange so red comma orange so here we may use this will be the red comma orange so like that then we will use blue comma green so blue comma green here again it may use like this blue comma green so next one blue comma orange so blue comma orange we may use like this so now like this when you are keep on doing this right so the green comma orange next one green comma orange here again it will be look like this so you look at that we are getting more number of classifiers we are getting six number of classifiers six number of classifiers but in the previous case we we got only four number of classifiers so number of classifiers are less when you are using ovr one versus rest so each classifier is considering the data set for performing so when you are reducing the number of classifiers the computing speed of your uh, model will increase that is the difference between one versus one and one versus rest thanks for watching